Hi there, RAFE. This is Christine Coleman with a quarantine edition of RAFE Update. We hope you're all doing well during quarantine and able to stay safe and healthy. Here at RAFE, things are full steam ahead or business as usual, but more from home than from the office. The staff and I miss you, so we thought we'd do a fun version of broadcasting RAFB from our homes. So with that, let's get into it. First up, live from home, broadcasting is Chris Studebaker, our CEO. Chris, over to you. Thank you, Christine. I want to begin my update by thanking each one of you. Um, thank you for being members of the Realtors Association of Fox Valley, the Illinois Realtors, uh, the National Association of Realtors. Thank you for supporting these associations as they have fought to provide you with the tools and resources to help you serve your clients, keep your businesses open, and in many cases, just, just to survive. Many of you have taken steps to provide aid to those in your communities that are in need. Through your compassion and professionalism, you have represented the Realtor brand well and have proven that Realtors are about more than just selling houses. Keep up the good work. In many respects, you've set the bar high for your association staff. I wanna thank the staff. Uh, my staff team has done a great job. But while we have modified the way that we do business, we have worked our tails off to ensure that our level of service remains exceptional and that your opportunities to experience RAFB or interact with RAFB have only increased, not decreased. At every level of the realtor family, your organizations have looked to double down on engagement, engagement opportunities and service. In case you missed it, RFB staff and members of the Community Outreach Committee delivered meals to four hospitals in Kane County and fed hundreds of frontline workers. Additionally, we are working with our business partners to put together an RPAC raffle where we will be giving away gift cards to local restaurants. By supporting this RPAC raffle, you will be supporting local businesses and getting full RPAC credit. Your association is doing its part to support your community, and I know that many of you are doing the same. Thank you for that. Continue to check uh, the rfb.realtor website for your professional development opportunities and industry updates. We have a COVID-19 specific page that gathers all the information from NAR, IAR, and even, and even some of the local chambers. We continue to be open for business and look forward to assisting you with your business needs. All you need to do is call or send us an email. Thanks again. Next up, we have President Paul Kempo with a few updates on the real estate market. Paul? All right, thanks, Christine. Just want to give you guys a quick update. As you know, homes are still selling. Interest rates are still good. There are still banks that are still doing credit scores in the 500s. So make sure you reach out to our business partners. Um, they have a lot of good resources out there. One good thing is if we look back at last March to this March, the homes have been selling nine, almost 10% better than what they did over last year's numbers. Although we don't have April's numbers, I can tell you that the last two, two and a half weeks, we've seen a lot more activity with showings, with contracts, and if you're in an affordable priced house in the market and it's in good shape, we're seeing a lot of the multiple offers and you know very little days on the market. So we do know that it's coming and as soon as the state opens up, I'm sure we're gonna see the spring market continue probably always into like August, September. There's definitely sellers that have put their stuff on hold right now. Um, I have several clients that have done that as well. They want to kind of see where, where are we going? How are we going to open up? And once they do, that's when they want to put it back on the market. However, our advice to them is such low inventory, get it on the market now. Again, if it's a good price, good home in an affordable market, they're going to sell quick. One of the good things from Lawrence Yoon when he spoke this week is, now that businesses are starting to do the telecommuting, um, we're also seeing people may not be staying in the city much longer. Now they can find houses, maybe a little bit bigger houses that have offices set up just to do Zoom meetings all day. So that's kind of what we're seeing in the market right now. And 
you know, hopefully stay tuned to next month. All right, so all you agents, make sure you take a look at our website for the market updates link. That'll give you all occurrence and previous data for Illinois, King County, and all the surrounding areas. Um, also make sure, you know, you check with your office, learn how to do info sparks on MRED. We have classes that come up with that all the time. Once we become the expert in, or at least expert in understanding the statistics, it's going to help us help our clients make the best choices. Back to you, Christine. Next over to Dan, manager of member accounts for some updates on the new central lock process and billing. Dan, over to you. Thanks, Christine. Hello, RAFV. I'm Dan Metz, your manager of member accounts, here to chat about some recent changes to your central lock billing. You may or might, may not have noticed an email come through containing an invoice for your annual central lock dues. If not, please double check your spam folder as it may have ended up there. REFV has taken over central lock administration and billing duties from Heartland, so you will not be receiving a bill from them going forward. That being said, the bill is due by June 30th. Payment made after the 30th will result in suspension of central lock services and a $35 late fee. You can pay this bill by logging into your RAFB account and paying under the billing tab, mailing a check, or calling the office and processing payment over the phone. If you decide to call to make a payment or have any other questions, please feel free to call me at 630-232-2360, extension 102, or email me at daniel at rafv.realtor. Thanks, RAFV, and stay safe. Thanks, Dan. Next up. I'd like you to meet our new Government Affairs Director, John. Here's John. Thanks, Christine. My name is John Schultes. I'm the Governmental Affairs Director for the Realtors Association of the Fox Valley. As Governmental Affairs Director, I'm the person that protects you from the people you elect. Uh, so there are federal lobbyists, our state house lobbyists with the Illinois Realtors, Craig Sadovin and Julie Sullivan, and municipal lobbyists like myself at the local level. We work to protect your interests and promote policy that's positive for realtors. What's different about the Illinois Realtors and RPAC, which is the Realtors Political Action Committee versus other government affairs teams, is that we are member driven. We're run by realtors for realtors. If you want to keep RPAC going and keep your interests uh, in the best shape that they can be, there's three things that I would ask you to do. Vote, act, and invest. Now, when it comes to voting, people say, oh, I vote all the time. Every four years, I step in the uh, into the ballot box and cast my vote for president. Now, what people don't realize is that every election is important. Midterms, uh, off years, everything. Because oftentimes in those years, that's when local elections are decided. And at the local level, some of those policies can affect your life even more so than at the federal level. Now, we're going to move on to ACT. So when it comes to ACT, if you want to be very involved, I would say join the Government Affairs Committee at the Realtors uh, Association of the Fox Valley. If you want to get a little involved, maybe got not get that uh, too deep into it, get to know me. Uh, I can buy you lunch. We can discuss local policy and get to know each other uh, and hear some of your concerns. But at the very least, I would ask that you answer your calls to action. As a former congressional staffer, I can tell you that every email is logged and not necessarily read to the member directly, but when they get 20 emails about one topic, the importance of it is definitely relayed by staffers. Now, we'll move on to invest. Every year we have people that are major investors, and at that level, it's $1,000 a year. At the Realtors Association of the Fox Valley, each month, there's a $5 box in your dues that goes towards RPAC. All that I ask is that you do not uncheck that box. Now, RPAC dollars are spent wisely. Every dollar you give to RPAC is spent by your peers. There are democratic controls in place. It's a bipartisan committee that works in the best interest of realtors. Finally, I'd like to say stay safe and thank you for being a member of the Realtors Association of the Fox Valley. Wow, thank goodness we have RPAC advocating for us, especially during times like these. Next up, Diane Hutchison. I'm Diane Hutchison, Manager of Member Experience. I would like to show you where to go on the internet to apply for Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, also known as PUA. First, go to the website for the Illinois Department of Employment Security, ides.illinois.gov. In the lower right-hand corner, 
you will see a place where you can enter a question at any time. It's called the IDS Assistant. From this IDES homepage, click on the first link on the left, File an Unemployment Claim. The next step would be to watch the video. Below the video are two buttons. If you haven't filed yet for regular unemployment, you will want to do that first. You must apply for that and be denied before you can apply for the PUA. So click the first button if you haven't already done this. If you have and you've been denied or you've been sent a debit card with a zero balance, then click on File for Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, PUA. On the page that opens up, you will go to the third paragraph and click on Learn About PUA. When you have read that, click the box that says, I have reviewed and understand the Learn About PUA document. When you have clicked that box, you will see a button that appears that says File a Claim for PUA. This button will not appear until you click that box. At that time, you'll be on a screen where you can proceed with answering the questions and file a claim for PUA. Thank you. Back to you, Christine. Thank you for all that valuable information, Diane. Next up, we have Missy Schneeberger with an update on all the events and education happening at RAFE, even if we can't open the doors. Thanks, Christine. I'm Missy Schneeberger, the Director of Events and Education at the Association. I just wanted to let you guys know that um, throughout these tough times, we're still here for you. We're still having events online, and we still are here for you for any education questions that you should have or any other um, education resources that you need. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about today is we have a new exciting webinar coming up on May 29th from 9 a.m. to 1030. We'll have our uh, NAR's Chief Economist, Lawrence Yoon, joining us, as well as the Member Outreach Director, Gideon Bluestein from Illinois Realtors. And then we also have RAFV's very own John Schultes, our new Government Affair Director. Be, they'll be delivering an information-packed webinar on the current real estate market with a economic and advocacy update. So be sure to join us for that. The next thing I wanna talk about is our poker run. We have this every year, it's our fourth annual this year. And it was supposed to be on June 18th. Of course, we couldn't cancel this fun event, so we decided to postpone it until it is safe to do so. So be sure to look for updates coming soon on a new date for that. The last thing for events I wanted to discuss was our RPAC reverse raffle. Our annual raffle is set to take place on Thursday, October 22nd. We are currently selling tickets for the $5,000 grand prize. Each ticket is $100 and gives you one entry into the raffle. 100% of your ticket price will be going to RPAC to, to help support our industry. You can purchase tickets now at bit.ly slash RAFB raffle 2020. In the world of education, you've probably heard by now that the 2020 renewal deadline has been extended until September 30th, 2020. In order to renew your license by the, de by the new deadline, make sure you take all of your required CE classes and then head to idfpr.com to renew your license online. If you still haven't taken all of your CE classes, don't worry, we still have plenty of classes for you to take online. Either head to the RAFV website under the Education tab for online classes, or you can go to the Illinois Realtors website for online classes as well. If you need any help finding these online classes, feel free to reach out to me at missy at rafv.realtor. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, like I said, at missy at rafv.realtor. Thank you. Thanks, Missy. Well, that does it for this edition. As you can see at RAFB, we have not missed a beat, and we continue to support our members and provide you with everything you need to do to do your jobs, even in this unusual time. So thank you for watching. This has been Christine Coleman with RAFB Update. Stay safe, stay healthy, we'll see you soon.